Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Yoka Leadership Student News. I am your host, Isel Castellanos. And Nelly Castellanos. We want to begin by saying happy early Mother's Day. This weekend, we celebrate Mother's Day thanking all biological mothers, stepmothers, and mother figures for all you do in this world. You know we can't thank you enough. So here is our leadership students with a thank you message on behalf of all of us here at Yoka. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all your good mothers. To all mothers around the world. To all the hardworking mothers. To all amazing mothers. And to all the mother figures. To all the yoga mothers. You are amazing. We appreciate you for providing us with, with your hard work. Thank you for all your hard work. Thank you for your major support through our ups and downs. Thank you for always working every day to have putting a roof over our heads. For providing us with the things we want and need. For taking care of us when we were all sick. Thank you for encouraging us to be in school. For always giving us an opportunity to be our best version of ourselves. For being there since I was a child. For providing comfort. For cooking me delicious meals. Thank you for always being there for us. For helping us during the toughest times. Happy Mother's Day to all Yoka mothers. Thank you, leadership students. We couldn't always count on you to represent on our behalf. Up next, we have Mr. Gutierrez with our leadership activities. Thank you, Isela Nelly. <laughs> leadership Team Blue Rangers had a successful Aguas Frescas sale on Wednesday, 426, and Thursday, 427. On the first day, they sold out their horchata in just 10 minutes. And then all that was left over was the piña, and it was gone in 20 minutes. And the second day, leadership came back with two jugs of horchata by popular demand, and we had another sold out day. Leadership Team Black Rangers hosted our first ever Fresas con Crema sale on Wednesday, May 3rd, and Thursday, May 4th. I didn't realize how expensive strawberries were, but we were able to sell out everything that we'd had, including the strawberries that Mr. Wong was able to donate to us. So thank you so much, Mr. Wong for your help and your support, and Ms. Kos also for your donations. Thank you very much for all those who, who supported our sales and made it successful. The fourth and final eighth grade versus staff game is coming up next week. The first ever eighth grade versus staff soccer game is on Monday, May 15th. Here is the final roster for the eighth grade versus staff soccer game. As much as we love for everyone to cheer them on, there is limited space and unfortunately, if you were not on the roster, please do not bring your advisory. Thank you. What an exciting way to close our year with the 8th grade versus staff games. While I'm at it, Student News. We have some 8th graders that are going to be leaving, so Student News will have some tryouts again next year in the beginning of the year. Just keep practicing your reading over the summer. Make sure you can read fluently with emotion and ready to come in in front of the camera. Because It is a different thing when you're in front of the camera. So, that is all for me. I am Mr. Gutierrez. Back to you, Nelly and Isel. Thank you, Mr. Guter Mr. Gutierrez. Our leadership students have done an amazing job this year. Yeah, so sad that events are almost coming to a close. The approach to the end of the year is starting to wind down. I can only imagine what 8th graders are feeling. You know, there are only six way left of school. Yep. So get your grades up, enjoy the company of your friends, smile more, and enjoy life because who knows what next year brings. Well, who knows what tomorrow brings, really. Up next, we have Lauren with club news and student involvement. Thank you, Nelly and Izel. On Saturday, April 29, our girls volleyball team and boys soccer team played at Belmont High. In the girls volleyball game, Team A unfortunately did not perform to their potential and took an L. They, now, they have now been eliminated from the tournament. However, Team B won their game against Berendo B and will possibly advance to the next round. Keep up fighting. As for the boys' soccer game, they unfortunately knocked out the tournament as well. On Saturday, May 6, we had our boys' volleyball players and girls' soccer team play, and they were rewarded with the win. Details to come if they advance to the next round. The girls also went out playing with their heart, and they were rewarded with the win. Details to come if they advance to the next round. SRLA finished their season when they ran the 26.2 mile LA Marathon in March, but when 
running is life. You can't just stop there. They ran their last race of the year like for real, for real. On Sunday, May 7th, shout out to Gabriel Barales' mother and her work who sponsored the cost of the race for all of SRLA team. Shout out to Yoka staff that also donated the fuel and hydration. If you're interested in joining SRLA next year, please see Ms. Hudelia on second floor for more details. The Everlasting Chess Club Tournament has now come to an end. Congratulations to the final four students for making it far into the tourney. In fourth place, we had Daniel Mendiola, third place, Yair Romero, second place, Renz Miranda, and in first place, Miguel Lobos. This is a great feat, and you have made it to Mr. Kim's Chess Wall of Fame, where we also congratulate alumni Alexander Moreno for winning three medals in all his chess tournaments since he started. On Friday, April 28, Mr. De La Cruz and Ms. Quintero hosted a space for reciting poems in the library. We had students recite beautiful, heartfelt, original poems followed by questions to clarify meaning behind the poem and get into the mind of the writer. Thank you for being vulnerable and sharing a piece of your heart with the audience. Now we have birthdays from May 8th to May 21st. According to our records, there are no Yoka staff birthdays. Now we have students' birthdays. Happy birthday to the following students. Happy birthday to you all on behalf of student leadership. We hope you enjoy your special day. That is all for me. I am Lauren. Back to you, Izel and Nelly. Thank you, Lauren. Principal shout out, our counselors, Ms. Perez, Ms. Estrada, Ms. Tarain, for having the art, their article titled Middle School Matters, Making Connections to College and Career Readiness, early on by CACS, in their quarterly newsletter. Up next, we have Aaron with Unscript Sports. Hello everybody, good day today, of course, lots of going on in the sports world, so let's get into the NBA playoff. The Lakers ended the first round of the playoffs by beating the Grizzlies. The Lakers beat the Grizzlies 125, Grizzlies 85. That was a great game thanks to all of the guys who stepped up. Second round of the playoffs, the Western Conference semifinals, Lakers also beat the Warriors. Lakers 117, Warriors 112. Thanks to the effort of AD getting his lobs, getting his rebounds, dunking the basketball, protecting the rim, protecting the paint, doing all that stuff. Just like Ham says, all the Lakers need is energy, effort, and urgency. Let's see if they can contain Stephen Curry, Klay Thompson, and the Warriors. I know the Warriors are a pretty good ball club. And predictions in the NBA Finals, Lakers versus the Celtics. Hopefully the Lakers can have that Kobe spirit in them. Next, the Los Angeles Dodgers. Oh yeah, good day in the West Coast. Shout out to Mr. Gutierrez. He went to all three of those games and the Dodgers beat the Cardinals. Dodgers 6, Cardinals 3, Dodgers 13, Phillies 4. And back to back, beating the Phillies again. Dodgers 13, Phillies 1. And also, another back to back again. Slaughter for the Phillies. Even though the Philly cheesesteak over there are so delicious, Dodgers 10, Philly 6. Hopefully we can get the Bay, which is the San Diego Padres. Let's go Dodgers, let's go baby. Mookie bets, let's go. Back to you Nelly and Isel. Thank you Alan, now we have Candy with School News. Thank you Isel and Nelly. We are officially in the middle of us back testing. We hope you were able to review the tips Dr. Lauer offered in the video Mr. Gutierrez created. If not, you can find it on our YouTube channel, Yoka Leadership, and our Instagram page, leadership.yoka. To sum it up, eat well and sleep well so that you may focus during the test. He also goes through the amazing rewards a student can get if they improve by 60 points, 80 points, top scores. Most importantly, he promises to shave his head if the school improves their test scores by 5% in both English and math. We had our first annual Yoga B Spelling Bee on Friday, May 5th. It was a nerve-wracking experience as students performed independently on stage in front of their peers and parents. You all did an amazing job on this competition. We congratulate our top five spellers who advanced to regionals. We are now on our new Dragon Challenge theme of the month, and that is humor. 
Humor is the ability to make people laugh or be amused. The quality of being funny. Laughter is said to be the best medicine for humans. Laughing has the ability to relieve stress by relaxing the body's muscles for up to 45 minutes. It is like internal jogging and strengthens your inner organ. Laughing also helps build your immune system to fight any sickness and prevent cancer. It can help you build relationships, make friends, and possibly find your significant other. However, when practicing humor, it is also important to consider the impact of your jokes and at whose expense is the joke being made. Leadership applications and yearbook applications are due this Friday, May 12th. If you would like to join student leadership, please fill out the leadership application online. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Gutierrez in room 3105. If you would like to join yearbook, please complete the online application. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Drobowix in room 2104. With that being said, this is the last month to get your yearbook. Buy your yearbook at the student store. It is now at full price, but it will definitely be worth it when you have friends and teachers sign your yearbook and you look back at it in 10 years. 8th graders, while you're at it, buy your 8th grade t-shirt at the student store for $15 and sport it at all your 8th grade events. Our last progress report just closed last week and we hope your grades reflect who you want to be. Remember that this next report card coming up at the end of the month will be your final report card. These grades will be posted permanently on your transcript and will follow you for the rest of your middle school years. 8th graders, this last report card will determine whether or not you get to culminate and walk across the stage for your friends and family to celebrate your, your accomplishment with you. Thank you, that is all for me. I am Candy. Back to you, Nelly and Nizel. Thank you, Candy. We are now two episodes away from the end of the year. Enjoy your time here at Yoko while you can. Tomorrow is never, never promised. Yeah, so live, love, laugh with your family, friends, and passerbys taking advantage of every moment we have in life. That is all for us. I am Michelle Castellanos. And I am, and I am Nelly Castellanos. Have an amazing week. <laughs> amazing job this year. Yeah, so sad that events are almost close, coming to a close, to a, yeah, so sad. <laughs> she doesn't sound sad. She sounds happy. <laughs> Reporting your leadership activities back to you, Natalie and Valeria. Oh, Girl. my bad. Girl! <laughs> great feat. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. This is a great feat for. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, so... I'm so nervous. I'm sorry. These grades will be posted permanently on your transcript and will follow you for the rest of your middle school years. Because <laughs> I went, this is, this is, and will follow you for the rest of your eighth school. You did that. Hit a home run, heading into the World Series. Let's go! I'll do that. <laughs> okay, I am sorry, Mr. Gutierrez. Okay, back to you. Yeah, so live, so live, lo, yeah, so live, lo, Love. I am Isaac Castellanos. And, and I am Nelly Castellanos. Have an amazing week. <laughs>